what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new go ahead and subscribe and hit the subscribe button we are on a road to 1k subscribers so i need y'all to go ahead and subscribe 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 if you are returning what is up my ab gang how y'all doing today so as y'all can see by the title this is going to be a dorm room tour so i'm just going to give you the first few segments of the video they will all be segment out below on the the little red bar things first we're going to go into the apartment before i moved in then we're going to go into me setting up then we're going to go into the actual apartment tour um i do want to give some little side notes i didn't point it out and tell you like i got this off facebook market or i got this from walmart then it came furnished things that come furnished in dorms halls are like couches bedding and a desk and drawers those are coming furnished other than that thank you for tuning in oh yeah by the way y'all i do got my natural hair out okay period you know period so don't think i'm boy-headed i ain't boy-headed i ain't boy-headed <laughs> but yeah let's get into the video Okay, you guys so now that you saw the tour of the building and all that good stuff now we're gonna apply the memory foam on your mattresses first wipe down your mattresses with some Lysol wipes just so you make sure everything is clean um, this is a king size memory foam because two twin XLs equal a king size so and these are very good to have while you're in college
Okay, so now I decided to hang up the curtains because my covers and stuff is getting washed. So, I bought a four pack curtain. So I put two in the living room and two in my room. I decided to invest in a toolkit. This is very beneficial for people who are freshly moving in. Buy a toolkit, you're gonna need it when you're setting up and stuff. So I bought me one. Um, like I said, I'm putting up the curtains and stuff like that. Uh, these curtains are like very easy. Like all you gotta do is screw them out and like they get longer as you continue to screw them out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just measuring it to see. And then I'm going to briefly show you guys what came in my toolkit. Um, you know, you gotta read it. That's very important to read. Obviously I got pink, like, duh. And it's so cute, like, especially if you don't have like nobody really helping you. I feel like this is very beneficial for you to have as a female or anybody who's moving in by themselves and don't have much help. So it came with like a lot of cute stuff. It came with nails, thumbtacks. It came with a tape measure. Um, it also came with like a screwdriver. It came with like a lot of good stuff. It came with some stuff that I don't even know how to use. It came with a ranch tool, I guess what you call it. And yeah, it came with a lot of good stuff. It came with some tweezers, like, like a whole toolkit. Like I can build a house with this, period. No, I'm just playing. It came with a cement slayer thing. It came with a hammer. And what I love the best is like all the tools. It's pink. Like, oh my God, it's pink. So are, those are the things you switch off the tops with. Okay, 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 okay. And I organize it really nice. Now let's put up these curtains. So obviously I have to stand on something because I'm not tall. I'm only like five, four, five, six. So it's pretty tall for a girl, but you know, you still need to use stuff to help you up. Okay, so the curtain hung up pretty nice. Now it's time to do the living room. So y'all, yeah, I already regret this, so I'm gonna just tell y'all this right now. Well, I don't regret it. I should have just been smarter about it. So I got a couch protector, not a couch cover. So like, <laughs> this is like if you use it, you had animals and stuff like that, but it doesn't matter. It's still cute for like far as deck tour. So um, I decided to use the gray side because the black side was not really full of my boat. Um, so yeah, just further, just for further, like, things when y'all going shopping, like, please don't get this. Like, I mean, y'all can, just me personally, my experience, I wouldn't get it again, but it's already open. So, but it turned out cute. And I got, like, some deck tour pillows on the couch and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so my covers and stuff is done, y'all. So this is a bed skirt. Tell me why I, most, I did the most dumbest thing. I put the bed skirt on top of the mattresses. But if you know, a bed skirt is supposed to go underneath the mattresses. So I just want to show y'all that like sometimes you, you just <laughs> not using your brain. <laughs> but I put it on right now. And that's the bed skirt I'm putting on. Then I put the mattress on top of the bed skirt. You don't put the bed skirt on top of the mattress. You put the bed skirt below the mattresses, okay? And so as you can see, like I added small little deck tours. I hung up my tapestry. I put some lamps in the background, um, putting on the sheets and the cover and all that good stuff. This comforter set I got from Walmart. So, and this is a king size comforter set as well.
Y'all see me setting up my bed and stuff. The girl's tired, she got the shower. Put their stuff on, set up my bed. Y'all see me set up my living. Y'all see my eyes, I'm tired. Peace. Okay, you guys, so I got the closet clean. I just put all the boxes up there. Now it's time to do this area. So you guys, this is how the wall turned out. I'm so proud of myself and excited. LED light and it's in cursive. Well, not cursive, but it's in this writing. And it says Amara Beauty. Let's see. Ah! I'm so happy. Cause this was the last finished touch that I needed for my room, for my beauty room. which is all my social platforms name, my YouTube name. I'm really invested in this stuff. So it comes with some cords, all of that cute stuff. Ooh, it's cute though. Ah, y'all. So I did get it in pink, obviously. Ooh, they take this thing to the ground. Okay, you guys, so. Amara Beauty. I know y'all like, girl, hurry up. Uh, uh, uh. But first I wanna go over some things, like some unpackaging. Um, This is what it came with, a good charger. Um, This is, I'm assuming, to hang it with. Um, I'm a, I may go through this, cause y'all know I can't do everything using thumbtacks. Although I wish I could use thumbtacks, but for this one I may need to use some the screw that they provided me with. Ooh, I don't want to bend it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I am so proud of myself. It's the little things that matter to me, y'all. Y'all don't understand. It really is the little things that matter to me. Um, that's just me. That's always been me. So this is an excitement to me. This is an accomplishment to me. Um, this is a lot. And it's only up from here. subscribers like if nobody else told y'all I'ma tell y'all like this like this, the sky wait, whatever the saying is like bro at the end of the day there's no limit to what you want to do in life and I'm telling y'all this because it's something I have to learn like if you want to do it do it don't never I used to think oh there's too many people doing this there's too many people doing that no you do it there's enough money out here for everyone and you also have to have the mindset of your calling is for you your calling is not for no one else so no one's here to steal your sunlight your sh your sh that you um you had you 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 could you do you wait girl get it together no one's here to steal your your spotlight or nothing because at the end of the day your calling is for you so can't nobody take it away from yourself but who you you know and um that's things that's been helping me get through stuff is just to know that i can't compare myself to this person i can't compare myself to that person why because at the end of the day my calling is for me and so can't nobody take my spot can't nobody take what i'm doing because it's genuinely for me like god literally said this is what you need to do on this earth you know and it's just like why didn't this come with no manuals <laughs> on how to do this because your girl is lost. Let me look and see if it came with some. Uh, no, it did not. 
Are they assuming we're just supposed to know how to do this? What the heck? That's silly, because I don't. We should plug it in to see how it looks. Oh my God, it's giving Barbie. It's giving Barbie. It's giving duty D. It's giving ah, ah, ah. Go baby, go baby. Ah. Okay, you guys, so I put command strips one, two, three, four, five, six. I put six. Um, I roughly wanted. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I was low key struggling putting up the LED light because it didn't come with no manual on how to hang it up. The screws that came for it was way too small. It kept falling out. And then the command strips was kind of like, kind of reflecting or like showing a bit. So I didn't like that either. So I went to Walmart and bought my own screws that were long enough and that can fit. And I just screwed them into the wall like that. The screws that came with it did not work. Heads up. Okay, yes, y'all. So I love it so much. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so yeah, we're done with the beauty room, period. Now let's get into this tour. Okay, here's my door decks. Um, CA slash RA door decks are supposed to be attention grabbing, welcoming to students if they need to knock on your door for anything. I also have a welcome friends mat. I had that since uh, sophomore year. I got it from Walmart. Okay, let's get into the room. Like, I love Evergreen. Like, if you've watched Dorm Room Tour Part 1 and 2, I definitely upgrade it. Um, like... It's given like luxury apartment style, you know, like it really is. So when you first walk in, you have the kitchen to your right. And then you have like this mini hallway leading to the living room. And then you have the bathroom to your left. Now, right here, when you walk in, it's I like to have essentials, something that I need before I walk out the door. So I have an umbrella just in case it's raining one day. Then I have my keys. Then I also have masks because you know you need a mask before you walk out. So those are essentials that I need so I won't forget as soon as I walk out, I just see them. And around the door, I have a LED light. Um, I just had a whole bunch of them and I had to just place them somewhere and it looked it cute. So I put it around the door frame. Um, then we have this uh, fragrance infuser or something that you got going on. I have peppermint and lavender smells. So I got that from Walmart. That was like only $7. Got your microwave. Uh, we have an electric stove, which I like. Got your snacks. I got a wall deck tour. I had that since freshman year. I don't know where I got that from. Um, get into the living room in a minute. So right here, I got a rice cooker. I got that from Walmart for like... I don't know how many bucks it was cheap it was not that expensive right here you will need to buy a uh, a dish rack because if you have a kitchen you're gonna need to put your dishes somewhere pots and pans utensils that I use to cook um, got some snacks got the refrigerator this is where I put my cups at um, I need to stop saying um also, there's a blender right there that I be using. Right here is like where I put bowls or plates and then other, other ingredients I need. And then up here is where I put seasoning and oil at. And then I like to have a microwave cover when I heat up my food. That actually came with the rice cooker and I just took it out. <laughs> and so yeah, that is the kitchen. Very simple. I got that rug from Walmart. I had that rug since freshman year. Um, yeah, the kitchen is very simple and like welcoming, you know, just like I want to feel very homey. So and that was the idea. So a lot of things is reused when you're a freshman. It's always good to reuse stuff. I mean, when you're in college, it's always good to reuse stuff from freshman year. I meant to say now when you first walk in the bathrooms to the left. So let's get into the bathroom. Yeah. 
So I was going for like a black kind of theme deck tour. So those towels I got for Walmart, they were like a dollar piece. Um, I got this rug from Walmart too. I think it was probably like six or seven bucks. And now you need some hand soap and then a fragrance thing for the bathroom. And then I got like bless this mess and it's a black deck tour thing. I also have something to clean the toilet with. Uh, also a bathroom trash can. And once again about the rug and the towel. You know, I try to coordinate a little bit. Um, this is like considered the guest bathroom because this room did come with two bedrooms, two bathrooms. So this is the guest bathroom. I don't use it at all. But um, you still have to do something to it, you know, at least like if you notice like throughout the apartment like i'm very very simple when it comes to deck tour uh, i didn't want to overdo it and i'm a huge person on saving money or you know getting the use of stuff that i buy so right here's a pantry this is where i put all my cleaning supplies like all of washing stuff trash cans anything that i need i put it right there um then we have this crate of trash bags i mean store bags that i put right there that i may reuse i don't know what that is i just put it right there i think that's where i bleached the wig in one time you will need to buy your own trash can because obviously dorm rooms do not come with trash cans or a broom but your ca should have a broom or a vacuum like me i have a broom and a vacuum for students so that's the leeway that rug right there you're seeing i had since freshman year as well and then next, we're gonna get into the first bedroom, which is the beauty room. So I did put an LED light um, over the beauty room door as well. Okay, you guys, so here is the beauty room. This room right here is motivation to my eyes, my heart, my brain, everything. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go too much in depth of it because I already have a separate video. If you wanna know how to do a flower wall, click that link in the top right. And I will show you how to do a flower wall. I did decide to just hang school deck tours on the wall, sticky notes. If you notice, there's sticky notes throughout the whole apartment. That is affirmations for me. This desk right here is considered like my makeup or get ready desk. And then this desk on the right is considered like my work desk where I'll do editing and schoolwork. affirmation it says have not commend you be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go Joshua 1 9 here's a nice painting that my mother sent me in the mail to put up in my beauty room okay so here's a pantry here's a lot of good small stuff you will need in the storage room I already showed you guys a toolbox and all that good stuff and here's like books, notebooks, papers. Here is a storage of where I put everything at that I don't want it in a way. And then remember, this is the first bathroom. So, you know, and this is the beauty room. All right, you guys. So we're going to get into the second favorite space in the apartment of mine is the living room. Now, the theme in this living room was supposed to be a wood slash grayish kind of thing um i got some deck tours on the wall i got an led light behind the tv like 
it just looks so cool at nighttime when you're watching a movie i swear it does um i have some family portraits on the wall of my immediate family that i love the most i have another led light going across the top and these are the curtains I told you that came in a four pack. So these are the other two that went in the living room. And I thumbtacked those on the top because the rod was not long enough for all that stuff. And um, yeah, y'all saw me set up that couch. And then here is the big old M. You know you gotta wrap your school and that's purr. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so this TV, is a 55 inch and I got it off Facebook market for $180. I feel like this is the best deal I will ever get on a 55 inch TV. It is pretty huge. I do have some deck tours in the front of the TV that I had from last year. And I was like, oh, these can be cute right in front of the TV. I got these for Walmart. They were like $5 a piece. And like I told you, I had the LED light behind it. And then let's get into that Big Joe. It's called Big Joe. I got it from Walmart. It's like a little comfy thing. It was like 30 something dollars from Walmart. And then this rug I got from Walmart as well. It was like 17, 16 bucks. And then this wooden table, I got off Facebook market for $20, $20 for this wooden table. I got some school deck tour and like everything it was like on budget shopping and it turned out pretty good i didn't know what i was kind of going for at first but it kind of hung in there for real Okay, let's get into like this bar kind of area. I put LED lights underneath it. Girl, this room gonna be LED out. <laughs> and then I got me a fake flower deck tour or plant and it's saying staying alive. Got that from Walmart for about like $5. And then I have this fake flower vine going across the whole bar area. And I forgot where I got that from, honestly, you guys. But this area is so beautiful to me. Like, it's really giving modern, updated lifestyle living, cause period. And it's very easy, cause like, if you're cooking and you wanna hand a plate, you can literally just hand it over to whoever's sitting there and you just, boom, or even for myself. Okay, now let's get into where the queen sleeps, okay? This is where the queen lays her head at. So you guys semi see me set up my room. I'm always watching myself on TV, always and forever. Okay, so the LED lights started to drop. They couldn't stick, but as it started to droop like that, I'm like, actually, that's a cute effect. So I actually left it like that. That tapestry I got from Amazon. I can put the link if I can find it for you guys. Got a nice closet and stuff. So, this TV I got off Facebook Market freshman year for like $30, but it's smaller than the living room one, so I said it can go in my room. And the bigger one I bought can go in the living room. 
And then I have some fake plant deck tours as well. I got that from Walmart for like $5. This stuffed animal my mother gave me for Valentine's Day. It was like a little gift. And then in the corner, oh, let's go into the curtains. So y'all send me how those curtains up. Those came in a four pack. The pack was like seven or nine dollars and I improvised and put the other ones in the living room and one in my room. So they actually turned out cute and it was good. So now this lamp I had since freshman year. So I just put that right there. I got a little incense going on in the room. Then I got me a lamp right there as well. Like I said, this bed set was from Walmart. Forgot the price of it. The deck tour pillows, the two in the front, were from Walmart as well. They were like $5 a piece. I got them when it was on sale. I got my stuffed animal. Like I said, the theme in this room is like a bluish, grayish. Like I said, I wasn't going for certain themes. I was just putting stuff together and it came along with it. So I got me a gray rug from Walmart. Everything's from Walmart, y'all. I got me a night lamp and an Apple Watch charger. And then this mirror right here is so beautiful. It brings out the color of the gray in the room. It's like a silver gray. Well, silver is kind of like gray, whatever. So I like it. It brings out like that bedroom home style feeling at school. So it went just right. So now here's my closet, which is perfect. So I got my shoe rack, my purse. So this shoe rack right here I had since 2019. So this should be the last year I'm using this shoe rack. I got some hats. Got some Crocs. Some quick wear slides I be wearing. The other Crocs in the living room somewhere. So right here is the mask drawer where I keep all my masks at. Because you just got to be masked down. Like You just got to have some. You got to have different all kind of mask. Then right here is all like head headwear. I just use this drawer for like headwear stuff that i put on my head headbands and all that stuff and now it's like we're gonna get into this area right here now i think this was a a nice aesthetic when i'm taking pictures just to like have your closet space behind you it looks very good when you take pictures i'm gonna drop a picture right here to show y'all what it kind of looked like when you take pictures right here it's so cute that's why I made it super cute where I'm showing all my shoes and my purses. Because, like, when you take pictures right here, it's so cute. And I also got some more sticky notes places. You got some hand wash, your toothbrush, stuff for your face. There's nothing really under the sink. And then right here is my purse wall. Uh, you know, my purse game is not, like, on 10, but it's, like, a 5.5. You know, I'm getting there. And on top, I got my shoes. Now, these are the shoes that I like and I wanted to bring to college. These are not all my shoes, but these are the ones that I wanted to bring to college. And then, like I said, I'm not a cluttery type of person. So those are the clothes that I will wear often that needs to be hung up. And it's about to start getting cold out, so why not? And here's like a little dresser area, like I said. Not much perfume, not too much going on. Just very a quick spray, spray and go. Got a jewelry section, sunglasses. And then right here is underwear drawer. Very packed. And then right here is pants drawer, like I said, or bottoms drawer. Super packed, don't look at my toes. Super packed. And then right here is pajamas or sleeping wear. And this, this drawer is like everyday shirts are all tops. So that's the closet. Now we're gonna go into this pantry. This is like a feminine type of pantry. So like stuff that I'll need if I have a cold. Stuff for like, you know, just energized stuff, stuff cleaning stuff. That stuff right there is for my face. This is like the face section. And then right here is like stuff for my teeth and then stuff for my body. And another section for stuff for my body. And then to your left is the bathroom, which makes sense that the pantry and the bathroom is right next to each other. It's a benefit to me. So you come into the bathroom and this bathroom is a little bit more smaller, which is okay. Cause the sink area is outside the bathroom, which I actually like this aesthetic was kind of like a pink look um i kept it very simple like i said i got the towels from walmart like two or one dollar i got this 
deck tour from mom. It came in the Valentine's basket. I'm starting to use wipes other than tissue, so I'm gonna let y'all know how that journey goes. Um, and then you got a pantry right there, so I, that's where I put my towels at that I need when I'm taking a shower. And then on the back of the doors, I have shower cap, a towel, and it's kind of matching that pink theme of the bathroom. That's so crazy that my shower bathroom gear kind of matches like the bathroom kind of theme I'm going for. I do have a bucket inside the shower that's like has my soap, face wash, my face towel, like stuff I wash my body with all in there. And like I said, I do have a towel, shower cap, a nightgown and a belt on the door. Just stuff that I know I will be able to use. 